August 29th, 1956, one of the most notorious names in music was born. To this day, more negative press on any one musician is hard to come by. Even talking about him is enough to get blacklisted in many social media sites. On August 29th, Jesus Christ Allen, later known as Gigi Allen, was born. His father, an abusive religious man, named him Jesus, saying that Jesus Christ himself visited him the night before Gigi's birth. Gigi was born into a family of four and immediately felt right at home. At around the age of 10, he started to notice his father become more and more mentally unstable. Gigi had stated that he vividly remembers his father's loss of sanity. One particularly vivid memory he has was when his father had dug four graves in their basement and told his family that if they ever tried to leave him, they would all end up in one of those graves. Despite his mother's lack of happiness and his father's religious tirades and abuse, Gigi has stated multiple times that he preferred life this way. In a masochistic way, he loved watching people's lives fall apart, including his own. His mom eventually succeeded in getting a much needed divorce and tried to distract her sons with various activities. Gigi's chosen activity happened to be participating in his own high school band, Little Sisters D. Due to his obscene lyrics, Gigi was never allowed to perform for any large crowd. This censorship infuriated him, sparking a fire that would burn on through his entire musical career. After graduating Concord High School in 1975, he immediately started working on his first album, Always Is, Was, and Shall Be, which was met with an incredible amount of backlash due to its themes of sexual assault, drug and alcohol addiction, and a wide variety of other X-rated themes. Though his music was questionable, it only served as a catalyst for his insanity. What brought him other notoriety was not his music or singing ability, it was how his concerts were held. As Gigi started gaining popularity, he was eventually allowed to perform for a crowd. What happened during these concerts was described as a living nightmare. Just before a concert, Gigi could be seen downing an entire box of laxatives, which he later used to defecate on stage, smear on himself, or throw at the crowd. This was just one of many extreme acts Gigi would do for his concerts. Some other notorious actions he would take include bashing his skull in with a microphone until he would bleed or pass out, urinate on the audience, or throw caution to the wind, and randomly start fighting the audience. One performance in particular didn't even have time to play any music. About five seconds into the concert, Gigi, who had been drinking heavily that night, threw his microphone into the crowd and sucker punched the closest person. Gigi had a firm belief that he would take his life on stage one day, and his bandmates believed him. An interview was taken with Gigi by Jerry Springer, where he went on a tirade about how he will never conform to societal norms, and that when he does take his own life, he'll take the audience with him. This statement is incredibly ironic, as Gigi died shortly after his interview of a drug overdose at a party. Gigi Allen left his mark on the world, not for his concerts or music, but for his message. Say what you will about, but one thing no one can ever say is that he censored himself. He was a very firm believer in our freedom of speech and ha absolutely hated anyone or anything that tried to silence him. His message is one that seems to be forgotten in our current year. People are being intimidated into silence for wrong thing, losing their jobs for having bad opinions, or not having the option to speak their minds at all on certain topics. Although more than likely we shouldn't emulate Gigi's actions, there's something to be learned from his antics.